Good day. The saga of my lost gloves has been solved. They're on top of my hot bin. And I now know why they're here. They're at the back of the plot. And when I was doing the turnips the other day, I was desperate for a wee. So, yeah. I took my gloves off before I relieved myself, basically. And whilst we're here, um, this is our pallet compost bin that you've seen before. This is our bin with dried um, wood chips in it for the, the hot bin. Our Cedrics and Cedricitas are in here. I won't open them up today because I've only fed them today. Uh, back of the poly, as you can see, and our dead hedge, which uh, has a whole load of wildlife in it. And coming through it, it sort of comes through that. I think the fox makes its way through there. But yeah, this is an area for tidying up over the winter months. But yeah, gloves found. And these will now need a really good wash. Well, I'm pleased to have found those gloves and solved that puzzle. Yeah. And of course, it's now the 2nd of September. It's Saturday, the 2nd of September. And things are really beginning to feel autumnal down here, but sort of October autumnal rather than September autumnal. Meteorological autumn began yesterday on the 1st. And I mean, look at those beans, the, the yellowing of the beans there. That's our Madeira maroon. Even the beans on the right, which are our Shaz's Scarlet Emperor runner beans, are beginning to yellow. And I think um, I think it's time to harvest our Madeira Maroon for Demisec like we did with the Golden Gate last week. And then coming over here, you can sort of feel that the squash is really beginning to thin down and the leaves are beginning to not just yellow but die back. And... We do have some squash developing. There's one down there. There's one through there. I'm not sure if you can see that. I think we saw that last week. Um, where have I seen? We saw that one as well. I think that's a new cheeky curry. That should be going to red. I think there's nothing over there. And... This one again, I think, is an Uchiki curry. You can see it's as big, it's as big as my hand, that one. And that one over there, I think. I mean, we're due some really warm weather, but I think this one is beginning to develop. And I'm wondering whether I do just allow that one to because I've got a feeling that we're not going to have an Indian summer. Yeah. There's a little one developing in there. And where's that one we saw? One there. I'm, I have no idea. These delicata? I don't know. So yeah, we have a few. Um, but it really... I mean, that, that to me is the sight of autumn. It really is. The summer this year has been fabulous for weeds and fabulous for cucumbers and courgettes, which I'm very pleased have done really well for us. But yeah, tomatoes, yeah. But there's no further development of blight, which of course is a good thing. But uh, I think it's going to be a green tomato curry season rather than a tomato and cheese on toast season. But hey-ho, what I am doing today 
is beginning to tidy our benches and I'll see how far I get. You can see here, there's a pot that I picked up on the street, um, empty pots there, our hot and top fig here, which I'm gonna need to put back into the poly tunnel. I think I may even have to take those home because I'm not sure they'll survive if it freezes down here. These of course were cuttings that we took last year in Guernsey. And this is, what is this? I can't remember, a jasmine that I got at the sale. This is a, um, it's called um, something red lavender, um, Q red lavender. And it's quite pinky, have no idea what this is, maybe somebody else does. This is the lemon balm that I took out of the carrot bed when I did some further sowings. Potted up strawberries, they've been in here for a year and you can see they've just got bamboo on top of them. Green trays, empty pots. These are um, verbascum that grew well, but they died back now. And then I think this is a Mirabelle. Mirabelle plum is that. And then a hazel here. So, yeah, that's, that's one. And then down here is sort of things that just need to be thrown or given to recycling or not given put into recycling and just things to be generally tidied yeah see there's pots of of things that i was given that haven't grown on well so they need to be emptied so yeah that's uh, that's one of our benches that needs sorting this bench has been unfairly neglected by me over the summer it's the one I was talking about the other day so we've got our our oaks in here not all have survived but you know I've let the, these weeds grow so they need to be sorted out empty pots spider plants that I got from the car boot not car boot from the gate sale um black currants and this uh, grape at the back that needs weeding. Can you see down there? So these are weed seeds that have blown in because of the state of my plot and other plots this year. And um, these are our, our roses that we took cuttings of that really need to go into larger pots. As you know, we were expecting to be moving and I was gonna be taking these with me, but yeah, um, they're going to need to go into larger pots. But first of all, first of all, I'm just going to tidy these up. Let's look at another bench. A real mix here. These are red gooseberries that we got at Lidl earlier in the year and potted up. Um, another hazel. These are joster berries. You can see by their pale colour that they need a really good feed. Um, black currants here and this one here is a black currant as well. Cultivated blackberries with no thorns. A rather lovely um, carnation. Um, and Vabascums and these are hollyhocks here and there's Vabascum over there another carnation cutting over there so yeah things that just need an awful lot of tidying up and that's what I'm going to get on and do after several hours of sorting I think I'm sorted so we've gone from three well two benches and a table to two benches so that's great. Um, some of the plants from the back, from the table at the back, have been moved here. So they've all been tidied up and weeded. You can see the strawberries have been weeded. These have all been weeded. And here as well. So in this one we have the hazels and the um, 
mirabelle and red gooseberries and black currants in this one we have at the front here we've got the cultivated blackberry and at the back it's just berries then all of our strawberries and then various plants here mainly the the uh, uh, lemon balm jasmine lavender this one that i don't know and these are um, additional leeks that i need to get in somewhere so that's that bench now onto this bench the roses have been tidied up but look you always miss one i need to do a bit more weeding in there taking that grass out <clears throat> but i will be repotting all of these as well maybe we'll do it tomorrow maybe next week then um, further black currants here and at the back is the grape and then this is a winter king apple then our oaks all weeded but some of them need to be topped up with further compost and then in this one is all of our plants all of our flowers so lychnis here 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 carnation carnation um, this is a yellow one I can never remember what it is but it comes up with fabulous yellow flowers um, lychnis there as well as you can see I think the the sort of um, how velvety those leaves are and then foxgloves two foxgloves over here and um, lily of the valley here so yeah those um, so that bench is all sort of pretty nice and tidy too which is great well that is a big tick on one of my jobs on my to-do list and I'm really pleased you know I've been able to compact those three benches down into one so they'll be easier to maintain I've made a note of the jobs that I need to do uh, like the roses being repotted into larger pots and the um, what's the other one the oaks being topped up with with further compost or soil so um yeah easier to maintain and i uh, i have sort of mentally apologized to the plants for neglecting them for so many months over the summer but that is that job done and i'm delighted Right, I'm going to leave it there and I'll be back. Oh, lovely bumblebee, lovely bumblebee. Hello, Mr. Big Bumble. Hello. Oh, now he's gone. Now he's gone. Um, I'll be back tomorrow because I have been given something, given two things, in fact, and I'll be doing a little bit more seed sowing. So see you then. Bye. Good day. And I'm bringing you a bit of sex first thing in the morning. These are two slugs, which are hermaphrodites. And this is slug sex going on. Yeah, so um, each is delivering sperm to the other. Isn't that just fascinating? But of course it does create more slugs which is not necessarily a good thing. Though, of course, if we didn't have slugs, a whole load of stuff that we want to be digested and broken down wouldn't be. They serve a purpose, but I just wish they'd serve a purpose on the stuff that I want to eat and rather than the stuff that I want to eat myself. Anyway, there we are. We'll leave them to it. I mentioned yesterday that I was going to repot some of these roses. These are rose cuttings I took, must be about two years ago now. And I've left them in these pots because we were expecting to move. And even though we're still hoping to move, um, I sort of need to move on from that in terms of, of growing and the allotment. So I've decided that I'm gonna pot these on and I'm going to put them into these pots you can see it's a, a, a couple of sizes uh, bigger maybe actually one size bigger and this was the level of the 
the soil obviously you can see here so when i pot these up i will make sure that this top here is still the same level i don't want to plant these deeper so the best thing to do is when you're doing something like this is make sure you put compost in the bottom first firm it not not um not squash it compact it but just firm it a bit and then put your your pot in and see how it sits and if it sits at the level that you want then that's great and then obviously you you pop it out put it in and then you'll have areas at the side that you'll need to to top up with compost so yeah i'm going to get on and do that with these four i thought we have five no we've got four is that funny i was sure we had five anyway i'm going to get on and do that with these four i did actually have five of these i would moved one to another area of the bench whilst i was filming so that's five potted on and i think they'll be quite happy in here for another year um, and ideally by that time we'll be either moved or or well on our way to moving and if not then maybe i'll need to think about keeping maybe just two and potting those on each year and giving three away uh, i think vivi's got two of these and also uh, another plot holder here has got one as well look at that fly that has landed on the one on the right looks like a wasp but it's actually a fly rather gorgeous i've just been having a look at this tomato bed the one that we did remedial work on the other day is still okay there's no more blight on any of those tomatoes but what i should have done the following day or even the same day is come down here and taken the leaves off these because we have blight on here um can you see over here that darkening there i don't think it's in focus um this is a blighted fruit tiny fruit but blighted and the rest will soon follow and if i come over here this is a bush variety and it's in the shade so you might be able to see more easily can you see how this stalk here is dark and here is dark so at the bottom i'm not sure if you can see because it's in the shade but this is dark down here as well oh, if i come over here and you see that oh, the sun's playing with it it's not in focus but yeah this stalk is dark so yeah we have blight particularly i think on all of them but particularly the bush varieties this one i looked at look i mean i don't know if you can see but that's completely gone so i'm going to harvest the tomatoes that i can from this bed and clear the bed so green tomato curry is going to be such a shame because these are beginning to to ripen now even that roma there is beginning to ripen if you can see it so it looks as though we're going to have plenty of room for our nero di toscana and portuguese cabbage cross brassicas oh hey ho hey ho yes definitely hey ho <laughs> um disappointing but you know that's that's allotment tearing that's growing that's gardening and i should have done remedial work on them the other day i thought maybe with warmer weather coming the um the dampness you know the humidity on the plot would decrease and we get away with another few weeks because we're due a really good week ahead like 26 30 degrees in london so i was hoping that we get past that before blight really took hold but 
light, it, uh, it takes its own course. You know, it can be very fast moving. And we've had the warmth and the humidity here to have allowed it to jump several beds and uh, hit that tomato bed. So, yeah, I'm going to be changing my plans again today and clearing that bed. But um, it makes way for something else. It makes way for something else. Um, I did mention earlier in the week that I uh, had been gifted something and, and I'm not sure if you can't really see it, but can you see how sturdy this handle is? Um, this is a, I think I'm going to take a clip of it outside, but it's a professional rake. It's a really, really heavy duty rake. And, um, and I was given that because one of the people who does a, uh, a forest school here is passing various things of that forest school on to somebody else and retiring from that. And she's got various tools and she's given me this really fantastic rake, which is brilliant. Um, I love the, the other rake that I've got, but this is a very heavy duty rake and, and is really good for breaking up soil. Its teens are... are much more robust than the rake I have already, which already is a really good rake. So two uses, one for breaking up clods, which is this one here, and one here, which is really for getting a fine tilth, uh, if, if that's what we needed and moving soil around, as you've seen me do before. So that was lovely, really, really lovely. And um, also another lovely thing, I did give a shout out for chard seeds on our own allotment group here, you know, this sites allotment group um, and uh, on WhatsApp. And I've been offered two lots of seed this lot. I don't know what it is. I mean, I know it's chard because I put the shout out for, for chard. So I've got a nice number of seeds there that I'm going to be sowing now, just like I sowed the spinach the other day. And then another plot neighbour just next to me here, and she and I have, have swapped things in the past. She's got some save seed from her child last year that she's going to pop into my shed at some point. So I'll be sowing that as well. So hopefully we will have chard. I think I've got enough in here, yeah, to sow to sew in modules. So I'll be sewing these in modules. And then I think with the ones, sorry, crinkly paper, lovely paper, but crinkly, um, with the ones I'm being given by the plot neighbor here, I'll most probably do another. Um, oh, I'll think about that because I want to get those leaks in. And I think that raised bed where the carrots haven't germinated would be really good for the leaks to go in. Uh, I was thinking that about two o'clock this morning when I woke up and yeah so maybe they'll go there so maybe I won't put more chard in there because there's a half a bed of perpetual spinach sown if that perpetual spinach doesn't come up I'll look at sowing some chard there um, anyway look I'm rambling I'm rambling I've got work to do so I'm going to leave it here for this part of this week's a week at the plot and therefore leave it here for this week's a week at the plot it's sunday morning i've met several people down here but i've got a good few hours of work to do and maybe i mean i'm not going to get on with some of the work because i need to sort out that tomato bed now so um yeah i'm going to be pottering tidying clearing doing all of that you've seen me do that before and if you've got any questions about what I do, please um, put it in the comments below. Um, whatever you're doing, whatever you're growing and wherever you are, I hope things are going well with you. I hope things haven't succumbed to blight. Your potatoes and tomatoes haven't succumbed to blight like ours are succumbing here. And if they have succumbed, do do some remedial work to see if you can stave that full blight off for as long as possible. See you next week. Happy growing. Bye.